G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at uh, one of the last installs of Debian and that will be a Debian live disk uh, installing the GNOME desktop. So let's um, get that up and running. So this will be a live disk and I'll scale that up. So what we have here is we have the live environment of uh, Debian 10. This is the GNOME, GNOME desktop. So we are going to install this to show you how that works. Uh, just click on install Debian and it will open up the Calamari's installer. We have a bit of a welcome here for the Calamari's installer for Debian 10 Buster. Click on next. Choose my time zone. English Australian, yep. And let's do a manual install. So we can choose a new partition table here, uh, whether it be the master boot record or the GPT. I'll go for the master boot record on this occasion. So we have the free space and we create. I'll make it a primary ext4. Actually, no, what we'll do is we'll make a swap, Linux swap make that uh, 2048 give it 2 gig for a Linux swap okay and the next free space will be the root partition which will be ext4 mount point root we'll give it the boot flag okay and install the bootloader to the dev sta which is the master boot record and next fill in the gaps and next and it will tell you down here what it's going to do and install and that's the install complete we shall restart now And we are at our login screen. Now I'm just going to scale this back. And uh, I was watching Esnix today, and he did a um, display change, which was interesting. Didn't know you could do that in VirtualBox. See if it works in here. Say 1440 by. 900 that seems reasonable all right so we'll stick with that and that seems to work all right so that was our install of the gnome desktop or the gnome desktop um, with the live disk fairly simple process as you can see uh, with the calamari's installer now the reason why i did this in virtualbox is because um, the GNOME interface it runs with Wayland by default on the live desktop. Now you can try and log out, but when you log out, it'll automatically throw you back into a Wayland session and not even give you the option to uh, choose Xorg. So that's why I did that in VirtualBox. So what we're going to do now is now that we've installed it, uh, we're going to run through a few things on real hardware on my Toshiba laptop and we'll continue the video on that and we'll um, run through a few things that we need to do just to get Debian up and running and now there's two ways I want to show you how to do this I was watching Esnix he's got a he's got a script that he's got going and also there's the manual way that I would normally do it as well. So I think I might show both ways. It might be the best way. So we'll see how we go with that. So that's it for the Debian 10 Buster live install of the GNOME desktop environment. We will continue the post install as a separate video as it will probably go a bit longer than expected. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it interesting and informative and thanks for watching.